Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, today, verse 27 and 28. Let's see what happens next. After these things, he, Jesus, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, follow me. So he left all, rose up, and followed him. Now, here's somebody who's got a lucrative position, Matthew Levi. He's a tax collector, and what that meant was Basically, everybody hated you. Things haven't changed too much for 2,000 years, have they? He also had opportunity to rip people off. He had opportunity to take more than his share. He was a wealthy person and didn't have too many friends, maybe some of the other tax collectors. But here is Levi Matthew. In fact, what I guess I'm saying is that he's very successful. He has all the money he needs, and uh, he, he's despised, but he's, he's going to be just fine. He is set now notice what he does here. Jesus comes. He looks at this person who's hated by others, despised by everybody else. And Jesus says to him, hey, follow me. And this amazing thing happens. Matthew Levi weighs the whole thing, his whole life, his position, his, his wealth, his possibilities, his potentials. He weighs, he weighs the whole thing against Following this, this, this nobody who's is sort of becoming somebody. People are, you know, talking all around about Jesus. But he's called, and he's called to be a disciple. And verse twenty-eight tells us he left all, rose up, and followed him. Right there, boom. Then on the spot, boom. Matthew sees he's coming with Jesus. This is an interesting item because because here we have somebody who is counting the cost, and he's immediately trading all the goods of this world. He has he has what he needs. He's got the latest cell phone. He's got the latest computer. He's got the latest car and gadgets. Well, no, he's got whatever the equivalents are in his world compared to ours. But he's got the material things of this world. He can afford whatever delicious foods he wants. He is laying that all aside, and now he's going to follow. He said, leaves all, and he's following Jesus. There's a, a lesson for you and I here. We have many things. We're stationed here. We're but when it's not so much like we're camping, we're kind of built in. We have our cars and, and our gadgets and, and, and all the things that make life convenient, our air conditioners, microwave ovens, refrigerators, and all these things. You know what? Matthew Levi was willing to lay it all aside and follow Jesus. And there's an example there for you and I. Are we willing, if we were faced with that kind of a question, would we be willing to put everything aside, even our career, to follow the despised Jesus? I hope the answer for you is yes. For Matthew Levi, we can see the answer was yes. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we say we're disciples. We think it, we believe it in our mind that we're disciples. And yet, how many of us have been faced with this kind of a test? And so, we, this is an important lesson, Lord. Help us to be willing, if you were to call for all, help us to be willing to give up all, all to follow Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray you'll give us a single mind, a single heart, a heart willing, and a heart that is so totally consecrated to you, committed to you, that you can actually use us and do supernatural things through our lives. Now, Lord, thank you for hearing our request. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Some important things to think on this day as we begin this day. Is God really first in our life? May the answer for you be yes, and may you be blessed this day.